Hello there, my name is Tina Louise Spalding and I am Trance Channel. Those of you who gave me heck because I didn't have a microphone, I have one on today, so hopefully the sound will be better. I have uh, been on holiday in Sedona, Arizona for a couple of weeks. I came down just to replenish myself and explore this beautiful landscape. I took some art classes and a spiritual workshop. Uh, the five-day workshop that I took uh, apparently moved some things around in me and on the last day of the workshop when I came came back to my Airbnb I had a spontaneous channeling from Arcturians who have not spoken through me before and generally speaking spontaneous channelings don't arise with me unless there's a very very important message so it was kind of uh, surprising. I was just laying in bed meditating and they came through and introduced themselves. Talked about Sedona a little bit and um, I've since done another personal session with them. But I thought uh, as it was kind of an exceptional experience for me that I would ask them to channel for you today. I will bring Ananda through first so that they can give you a little introduction um, as to the importance or need for this, these communications. Uh, so uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. There's lots of uh, pertinent information regarding your ascension process uh, that comes through regularly and about current, uh, current events and how to handle them. So if you're having a little difficulty with all of the uh, tragedy, tragedies and uh, natural disasters that are showing up around the planet right now, particularly in the United States, it's a good idea to subscribe so you get the first uh, notification when a new video comes out. Anyway, I am going to uh, bring Ananda through and uh, we'll see if the Arcturians come in as well. I'll see you at the end of the session. <clears throat> No, oh, we're with you again, dear ones. Uh, this is uh, part of your ascension process, the communication with extraterrestrial beings. Now, some of you who have been following us as pure spiritual students are becoming a little bewildered by this addition to our teachings. Well, if you recall way, way back when we first introduced ourselves, we said that we are uh, a group consciousness that is made up of beings that have... Uh, resided on your planet and have had incarnations there. Uh, we also mentioned that we have uh, members in our group that are manifest in your physical 3D reality and are what you would consider extraterrestrials. So this is not news. We sort of slipped it in a little bit there, like some medicine with your uh, uh, honey on a spoon, so that you wouldn't notice it so much, so that it would not freak you out so much because you have been trained to fear not only communication with extraterrestrials, but you have been trained to fear being seen as a person who has communication from extraterrestrials. And this is one of the great trainings of your society, that if you are one of those beings, then there's something wrong with you. You're a conspiracy theorist or you're crazy. You should not be trusted. And any of you who have any professional standing or reputation will not want to acknowledge that you're curious about this or that you've had an experience of this. So this increasing communication from extraterrestrials is designed to begin to wean you from those fearful ideas. It is designed to begin to help you see where you are afraid, to begin to help you see where you don't want to tell someone that you found this video interesting or you don't want to post it on your Facebook because you are afraid. These are the fears that have been implanted in you and that you must look at for the ascension process to be able to reach its full blossoming. Because you are members of a galactic family. You think you're orphans, but you are not. You are members of a galactic family and you have galactic brothers and sisters who are waiting to communicate with you. Now, of course, there are many extraterrestrials who have already made contact with Earth, but their frequency is lower. If you look at the frequency of your planet, the human effect on your planet, we are not speaking about Gaia herself. She is abundant, fruitful, kind and generous, which is a high frequency. 
uh, but the human effect on your planet is a very low frequency. And so who has communicated with you? There has been a frequency call coming from low frequency thoughts, beliefs, and ideas. And that is why less loving extraterrestrials have already made contact. What we want you to understand is that high frequency extraterrestrials are not drawn to connect with low frequency humans. So if a human is involved in making of bombs, the military industrial complex, destroying, manipulating, controlling, attacking energies, high frequency extraterrestrials will not communicate with them because they are not of the same frequency. They will only communicate with beings such as yourself that are working towards loving higher frequency emissions. You are always emitting a frequency. Don't ever doubt it. And this is why it's so important for you to understand why these high frequency extraterrestrials have not shown up yet. You have not been high enough yet. There are beings that have had contact with higher frequency beings, but they are holding a higher frequency either naturally based on other incarnations that they've had or their assignment this time was to come in and study meditation, prayer, forgiveness practice. And so they have been on the leading edge of that frequency invitation. But now we want all of you to join in this frequency invitation. And we want you to know that you do not need to fear these beings because they are love-based. They have risen above the warring, fractious, combative energies that Earth holds. But because you have been raised in this environment, you cannot imagine a peaceful, loving, caring, compassionate race of extraterrestrials. Your experience of human nature has... Uh, cause that belief as well as a deep indoctrination from the movies that you have watched. Anytime there is an extraterrestrial, although there are some new movies coming online that are reflecting this higher frequency, anytime you look at a movie there is a feeling of ominous disaster approaching. They can be good to a certain point because they're introducing new ideas, but there's always this idea that something bad is coming. They may present as nice, but there is something lurking in the background that manifests later on in the movie. And of course, this is planted in your consciousness over and over, movie by movie, TV series by TV series, to get you to fear contact. And so we bring through another message here. So you, many of you have listened to us for years now. You trust us. You know that we bring forth loving frequency. That is all we will allow through this particular channel. We value her deeply and she is a very, very clear channel. And so now we want you to hear this next message, which is part of your planetary evolution. Part of this ascension from third through fourth D, which is love, into the fifth dimensional reality, which is where your planet is heading. This is why you are seeing the disasters on your planet. The old system is crumbling and Earth is increasing her frequency, increasing the energies of her self-expression. And some of those things are being manipulated, but we want you to know that it is important for you to expect increasing demonstrations of higher frequency activity from your planet and the systems that uh, make up that planet. So the weather systems, the water systems, the plate tectonic systems, these are all aspects of Gaia and she is becoming higher and higher in frequency. So just when you boil, just like when you boil water, it looks calm when it's cold, low frequency, but it starts to move a lot more when it is higher frequency. So do not fear this, but I'm come to understand that it is part of this love revolution that you are being swept along in, even though it may not look loving, it is loving. So we will pass our dear one over to the Arcturians and we will Speak to you again soon. <clears throat> Arcturus is our home. 
Arcturus is where we hail from, and we are your galactic brothers and sisters. We come in many ships, we come in thought, we come into your heart through feeling. We message you in many ways. This way is one of the most direct ways that we are using right now because you must be trained up into being able to accept direct physical contact with us. We are Arcturans. We are energy masters. We are feeling masters. We have overcome so many things in our history and we come here now to assist you in overcoming what you have been trained into. You must understand that there are many, many extraterrestrial beings coming to Earth right now, circling your planet, connecting with whoever is of a high enough frequency to have a sane conversation with. We will not come to you in thought, word or action if you are going to be terrorized by that experience. That does not serve us, it does not serve your ascension process, and it does not serve your planet's evolutionary journey. We come here to begin to plant seeds in those of you that know that you are getting close to the frequency where you may connect with us. This is all about connection. That is what love is. Fear is separation. Love is connection. Now you have heard these theories before. Do not think that they are only earthbound theories. They are galactic universal theories. Separation is fear. Connection is love. Communication. Loving communication. Encouraging communication is what love is all about. It is creative, it is generative, it is expressive, and that is what we want you to understand about yourselves. You are creative, you are generative, you are expressive, but you have had contaminants laid into your creative, generative, expressive systems repeatedly and continuously through your mass media systems and your education systems. Why do they put so much effort into edu educating you and bringing these technologies to you? Because that is what is required to keep you down and away from beings such as us. Now, we have communication systems very much like your internet, but we are also highly telepathic. And so that is what you are witnessing here. But you are also witnessing a human who has highly telepathic skills. And this is normal. All this being did was tune herself up into our frequency. You can do the same. But along that tuning up process, you will encounter all of the interfering beliefs and ideas that have been put in your mind from the outside. This is a natural telepathic quality that highly evolved loving beings have. Why? Because telepathy is communication, telepathy is extension, and telepathy is creative. When you are shut down, you know, when you are depressed, we do not experience depression in our civilization, but we have been studying you for a long time and we see depression we want you to understand that depression is separation from that creative, generative expression that is your natural home. And your guidance system that you have been learning about through these teachings tells you that you are wrong because you feel bad. Remember, it is your right and your natural state to feel joyous and good. But for that, you require freedom you require knowledge and you require self-understanding. So for those of you that want to have conscious contact with us as this being is having, we would like you to begin that path to self-knowledge. What does that mean? It means to study material 
that reveals to you the processes of your mind because your mind is the creator of everything. Our minds are the creators of everything we experience, but we have mastered our minds and our hearts. And so we come with loving intention and focused attention to your planet. This being here is a portal through which many extraterrestrials can speak because she has removed the blocks to that natural gift. That is all she has done. She is no more special than you. She is no more or less special than us. She is becoming a friend. She is becoming that being that can offer one message from here and give it to you here. That is all that is happening here. Arcturians are masters of geometry. We are masters of feeling and thought. And we are your friends. We come here wishing you the best and offering you a helping hand up from that darkness into which you have been taken. We ask you to use your internet only for good now. We ask you not to watch your television stations. We monitor your television station frequencies. And they are close to death. We want you to think about that. They are close to death. If you are watching television all the time, or if you are watching television to see the disasters that are playing out on your planet right now, the frequency is that of sickness, fear, manipulation, and death. Do not be fooled by the bright lights and pretty faces dancing across those screens. Do not be fooled by that, but understand that that is the candy that the predator uses to lure the innocent mind into the back of a van. Remember that the next time you see a pretty body or a pretty face, or a handsome body or a handsome face asking you to turn your television on. That is our message for today. It is a repeated message. This being has sent this message many times, but you are all still tuning on to your, into your televisions. We want you to unplug your cable, disconnect it, phone the people who provide that service, that poisonous service, and give yourself the gift of free will. Free will comes back when you stop programming yourself every day to consume, to fear, to judge, to attack. Once you are only with your computer, then you have some power, but still be aware that technologies in your society are constantly emitting a lower frequency. So you must, even if you are using your computer, balance it with extended periods of time in nature in the sunlight that is bringing forth so much information right now. It is upgrading your planetary systems and you will be swept up in that upgrade. If you go outside and spend time in the wind and the natural environments, take your shoes off and look at the light. It is entering through your eyes into your mental and emotional structures and it is changing things. Why do you think they have told you to stay out of the sun? It is because of this. Now, of course, some of you are tender beings with white skin that can get hurt, but you are okay for 20 or 30 minutes. Go in the shade and then come out again, 20 or 30 minutes, 20 or 30 minutes. This is medicine. This is education. This is one of the ways that your God, the universe, the reflective universe, is bringing you the upgrades that you have requested. What have you been praying for on your planet? You've been play, praying for be, to be rescued. You have been praying for help. You have been praying for love. That is one of the forms that this help love is giving you, is being given to you. 
Arcturians are your friends and we have many technologies, design technologies, healing technologies, philosophical and political abilities to assist your planet in healing itself and taking itself back to a healthy frequency. If you would like to communicate with us, begin to meditate, begin to let go of your grievances, Begin to eat a more light-focused diet, and that means more fruits and vegetables that are closer to light, that have not been processed and dead for a long time, things that have been recently grown and cultivated. Begin to add those things to your diet, and the lower frequency things will fall away if you are meditating and offering up your resentments for healing. Many of the intergalactic brothers and sisters that are communicating with you at this time will pick up as soon as somebody's frequency asks. We are paying a lot of attention right now and we will come at your call, even if it is in an image, an idea, an inspiration. Do not dismiss these subtle messages. We must come through subtly at first so that we don't frighten you and so that we can not impinge too much upon the psyche that is so delicately balanced upon untruths. We want you to understand that there is a revolution happening on your planet and it is a revolution of frequency. The frequency is going up and you have a choice. Do you go down by watching the murderous frequency of your televisions or do you go up by choosing what you focus on and how long and with what intention? It is all up to you. We cannot save or help those of you that do not request assistance. So in that sense, you must save yourselves. You are the savior that you have been waiting for. We are not. We can only come once you have reached a certain pitch, a note, a vibration. We will return for more communications as this being sees fit. <laughs> All right. Uh, this being. This being um, is going to have some art for uh, sale on her website soon. So I'm very excited about that. I have about 25 different... Uh, 20 different paintings that uh, you can... Uh, order prints of and uh, uh, Kenneth Berenson, my IT specialist, is really doing an amazing job in setting that up. So that should be up within the next few days. So I'd ask you to just check that out. Uh, there is shipping in Canada and the United States. Uh, I'm not sure about the rest of the world. We'll have to discuss that and see how that goes. Uh, the uh, Arcturians are very present here right now so I'm happy to share that uh, communication with you and I will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.